Hey everybody, we're going to do a, a live tool tip Friday. Uh, this is Doug with the Jewelry Monk Studio and I'm sitting here working on some pieces and I thought, you know what, this would be a good opportunity to show a couple of, of tool modifications that I use. It seems to be the theme that I'm going with here the past couple of days. So, so um, I'm going to show you just a couple of um, tools that I use and I use them quite a bit and just little things that I do to them to make them work a little bit better. First thing is these snap-on discs, and these things are worth their weight in donuts. These things are perfect. Uh, I use a bunch of them. They come in different grits, and it's just, um, all they are is a sandpaper disc with a, a brass center that goes on these little mandrels, and you just, they call snap-on because they just snap in place, um, and, and they work good. I'm going to show you how I go about truing them because when, when I put them in my um, Fordham handpiece, a lot of times when they're spinning, they're just a little bit out of true. And sometimes if I'm working on a piece and I want to get right down into a crack or a crevice, I want that edge to be as true as possible so it's not like wobbly. So, so what I'll do is, and, and sometimes when I'm working on them, they'll get dull on the end because I use the ends more than the middle. So what I do is I take a, uh, this is a number 12 surgical blade that I use when I cut molds, but I've got got them all over the place. When, when they're dull for cutting molds, they're still good for things at the bench, you know, like what I'm going to show you here in a second. I use them in metal. You can go in and shave and trim metal. But what I'll do here is, is you want to watch which way this is rotating. So if you look at this this way, this is rotating counterclockwise. And I'm just going to take this blade and I'm just going to touch it and cut it and cut about um, an eighth of an inch off of the end but that will true that blade up. So if you watch real closely, spin this here, and then I just, oh, let's see here. This bolt blade is a little duller than usual, but, but you can see it just trims that off. So now this edge is, is just perfectly smooth and it's not wobbly. So now I can get into tight places and and run this edge right up to the, the side and it's not going to be cutting. And sometimes I'll even take this blade and I'll trim the back side of it off and smooth that up as well just so that it it's, um, doesn't have a cutting edge on it. So if, if I run that up against a piece of silver or something, it's not going to cut. Now I can kind of get in there and just right on that edge, I can get way down into that crack and crevice and do some polishing or some, some sanding. And you can kind of see how this is it's just kind of going in there. And you can see how I, I like these things so well. I can get in there with files and do that, um, but these sanding discs work so much quicker and easier. So you, can, you can see that just gets right down in there and uh, works well. So these things are worth their weight. So uh, another thing that I like to do is these are our end brushes for polishing and you can put polishing compound on them and you can kind of get inside areas and, and do some, some shining up. Here's, here's one that's loaded up already with some, some rouge. So you can kind of get in there and just, and you can polish the insides of areas that you can't get to with a, a regular um, wheel or a burr. When these things get used up, they, they kind of look like this and there's not much bristles left. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll take these, put them in a pin vise so that I can hold on to it. And I'll take my saw and I'm going to cut the majority of it off. I'm just going to leave just a little bit of the base, just a, a couple of millimeters that you can kind of see. So I'll just kind of come in here and just slowly cut around this thing. And I'm cutting all of the, and these things are made of brass so that it's not real hard on your saw blade. They're plated, they look like steel, but really they're just brass. So I just kind of come in there and it's cut. Cut the majority of this off. And as I'm cutting, I'm spinning it around. That way it cuts nice and true. If I just start on one side and I cut all the way through, sometimes it'll it'll leave it thicker on one side than the other. So I can even take a scribe and go in and scribe a line and try and follow that. But on this example, I'm just kind of cutting through, and you can see it cuts that cuts that right off. This is 
don't need that. So what it does is it leaves this, this a nice flat area. And you can see I've got a couple of them here. There's another one that I, I've uh, got it flat and I sanded this down. So now what I'll do is I'll take this and I will glue it onto a piece of sandpaper. I've got this nifty glue right here. This stuff works amazing. It's called Zap It. And it's like super glue. Well, it is super glue, but it cures with a UV light. So I'll just put a little bit of glue on the end. Put it on the sandpaper the way I want it. And I use different grits. I think this is 400 grit. And then this comes with a little UV light. You just hit it like this. And let's see if this one works a little better. And what it does is it cures that glue. So right now that glue is cured. And then what I'll do is I'll take my, my cutters and, and just trim off the excess. Kind of see what I'm doing in there. And then I'll take the file and just file the excess of that off as well. So now this has got sandpaper on the end and it's an end sander versus an end polisher. So now I can get in here and say I've got little, say I've soldered this, this um, bezel onto this base and there's a little bit extra solder in there. So now I can come in there and, and just kind of grind and sand that excess off. You can kind of see what it's doing there. And it just, it gives you an opportunity to, to sand in places that you really can't get into with most tools. They don't make any burrs that, that do this. Um, it's just, you know, sandpaper works the best. So I've got a number of these laying around. This has got, you know, 400 grit. I've got 320, I've got 600. And they just work in, in getting into real tight areas. So, so hopefully you can use that information, like I said, it, a lot of times when, when I'm working on a piece of jewelry, I, I tell people, you really got to adapt. You look at the job that you want to do, the tools that are in front of you, and say, how am I, how am I going to be able to accomplish this? So this is a couple of examples of how to do that. Taking some old burrs that are, that are used up, and most people throw those, those end brushes away, but, but not me. I'll, I'll use whatever I can for whatever um, job that I can finish up. So. So again, those uh, end brushes uh, turn into end sanders really nicely. So hopefully you're having a good day. Um, thanks for popping in for Jewelry Tip Friday. See you later.